With hockey, it's great because like on game days, everyone has a pregame nap. Do you guys tell each other, you're like, okay, it's nap, nap time and everyone just kind of disperts? Yep. I was joking, but that's a real... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to The Works, a show where we get to know some of Canada's best athletes. Then we surprise them with a delicious Mott's Clamato Caesar, customized just for them. This episode features hockey superstar Natalie Spooner. Hello, Natalie. Welcome to The Works. Hi, Dave. How are you? Hey, good. I like your sweater a lot. Oh, thank you, man. It's always good to start off, I feel, with a compliment. You uh, want to tell me you like my jacket or something? I was going to get to that. <laughs> I apologize. If you weren't playing hockey, what would you be doing? I would love to say I would be a pop star. What would be your pop star name? Oh, Sparkling Spooner. Okay, mine was Quest. Quest? Yeah. See, that's why I need a better one. Spoony, Little Spoon, Big Spoon. Maybe I should just be Fork. Fork, we figured it out now. What are your teammates most likely to give you a hard time about? Okay, so I love to sing, but half the time I don't know the lyrics and I just make them up and I just sing them so confidently that I think I know the lyrics. I'll belt it out in the locker room and they'll like look at me like, what are you saying? Like, those are not even close. If you were to come with a warning label, what would it be? Oh man, I probably have two. Okay. One would be May break out in spontaneous dance and song. Fair enough. Second one would be uh, probably requires like a two hour nap to function. Okay. I am a napper. I could be a professional napper, I think. With hockey, it's great because like on game days, everyone has a pregame nap. Do you guys tell each other, you're like, okay, it's nap, nap time, and everyone just kind of disperts? Yep. I was joking, but that's a real... Uh... <laughs> it's real. I am like the best pregame napper. What are your cheat meals? I mean, I don't call them cheat meals. <laughs> I just eat, I just eat them, but... Like, I think like, like I love chocolates, um, but if it was like real food, a really solid yummy burger. You got that? <laughs> yeah. Is there something that we don't know about you that you'd like to share? But I love like getting out of my comfort zone and trying new things, even if, you know, like I went skydiving and I puked everywhere, but I did it. <laughs> so <laughs> to say I did it is good. <laughs> I'll try anything once. How competitive are you? When it comes to hockey, I'm pretty competitive. <laughs> Actually, when it comes to anything, whether it's like board games, even. <laughs> like growing up, I was the worst. I would throw the Monopoly board across the table. Now I, I'm a little bit better and I can like accept, you know, that there'll be another game I can win. Are you like high strung or are you like low key? No, I'm like low key for sure. So you I like, like to have fun. Like I feel like when I'm having fun is when I play the best. Okay. So sometimes like you'll catch me like singing, skating down the ice or something. How intense are you? Like compared to your teammates? I'm competitive, but I, maybe I'm not as intense as some people. So I don't like show it as much. It's like I wouldn't be like, you know. Okay. I would be more like, what does it truly feel like to be an Olympic winner? There's so much pressure like the whole year, especially leading up to the Olympics, that when you win, it's like relief, excitement, you did it. You're representing not only your family, but all the little girls that, you know, want to play and all the girls that came before you and represented our country. So there's like so many different emotions that go with it. When is it time for a Caesar? Anytime. Did you know that May 20th is National Caesar Day? No, I didn't know that was a National Caesar Day. Well, now you do know, and uh, how how would you celebrate it? Hopefully, once I get to see my Caesar, I could have one of those on National Caesar Day. Now it's time to get your drink. We have our mixologist who mixed you uh, the perfect drink that matches your personality. I'm intrigued. I have no clue what is going to be in or on the Caesar. It's at your door, so if you want to get up now. I'm really excited to see it. Cheers. Wow, is this the Spooner Caesar? We're calling this the Sparkling Spooner. Sparkling Spooner. Natalie, I'm gonna break down this drink for you and what's inside. So we got Mott's Clamato Extra Spicy Flavor because you're super competitive and you got that fire. Oh, this is so nice. We have this slider since we know how much you love a burger. I kind of expected the burger, but the pineapple, it's like a gold medal on a Caesar. Pineapple, of course, because of your sweet tooth and a mini pickle to add a little color because you have such a colorful personality. Oh, an onion ring? I can't wait to dig in. You think we, we matched your personality to the drink? You definitely got a lot of different parts of me in this drink. I mean, this is really cool. 
And to know that there's a Caesar that's named after me. I mean, I never thought in my whole life that this would happen and I, I feel very cool right now. Cheers. Thanks, Dave. Cheers.